How can we succeed in life? Does our background inevitably determine what we'll be able to achieve in life? Can a person of humble origins become successful? And will hard work be enough? There is a novel that has an answer to those questions. David Copperfield by Charles Dickens tells the story of a poor orphan who grows up to become a writer. A man named David Copperfield looks back on his life and tells his story from the moment of his birth. He's raised by his mother and a nurse named Peggotty. David's father died before he was born, but when he's still a little boy, his mother remarries. David's new stepfather is the cruel Mr. Murdstone. His sister, Miss Murdstone, soon also moves in to take care of the household. David's life will never be the same again. They treat him cruelly and eventually send him away to school. David's childhood is horrible, his mother dies when he's still a boy, he's forced to leave school and is exploited by his stepdad. But thanks to his paternal aunt, Miss Betsy Trotwood, things begin to look up for young David. Lots of suffering and exploitation, but in the end, good characters like our hero will be rewarded. So familiar Dickens stuff. A capitalistic society in which the poor are exploited by the rich, but poor people are not exempt from being cruel, and not all rich folk are evil. Pretty conservative worldview where good, worthy individuals always succeed, and where success is, of course, always measured in financial terms. Okay, I don't like Dickens and David Copperfield didn't change my mind about that. He wrote this novel when he was 58 years old, so I expected something mature and introspective. I didn't get much of that. David Copperfield is semi-autobiographical. Dickens introduced some elements of his life in the novel, so I expected to learn something about how he became a writer. Again, I didn't get much of that either. David Copperfield is too sentimental and it relies on too many coincidences. The novel is also way too long. I do love a long novel, but here the length works against the story. The plot is too simple to deserve such a long treatment. Some of the scenes seem endless and I was bored much of the time. However, David Copperfield starts off promisingly. I was ready to be moved by the story of an orphan boy, but as David got older, the novel became increasingly plotting. I did love the loving relationship between David and his nurse Peggotty, but I didn't really care much for many of the other characters. Also, Dickens does this thing in the novel and in general where he makes the characters sound different to mark their social class. He tries to reproduce their diction in writing, which I think should be avoided because it's not like English is pronounced as it is written anyway. So removing the H's from the speech of an educated characters like the villain Uriah Heep comes across to me as elitist and it also makes the dialogue annoying to read. When it comes to coming of age stories from this period, my favorite continues to be Jane Eyre. Charlotte Bronte wrote a compelling and complex Bildungsroman or coming of age story about an orphan, which is also hugely entertaining. Everything that David Copperfield wasn't for me. I give David Copperfield three out of five stars.